Hello again, welcome to the potting shed on this cold January morning here in the UK. I've got the heater on one second. I'll just turn that off in case it's making too much of a racket. But uh, yeah, today I wanna to talk to you about these amazing house plants, the Syngonium Podophyllum Albo Variegata, a really beautiful looking variegated house plant. And let me tell you, I must admit, I promised myself I wouldn't get involved in the whole variegated collectible um, Albo plant scene because they're very expensive and they're quite difficult to get hold of. Uh, but I must admit, I was at a, uh, I was in another town relatively close to me, and I drove past a garden centre that I hadn't been to in probably over a year, and I thought, let me just pop in and see what they've got, <laughs> just in case there's something interesting. And these guys are in there, but I've never seen them in this area where I live ever. And that whole scarcity thing got a grip of me. I, I got to admit, <laughs> and they are so pretty. The whole leaf shape of the syngonium is really beautiful otherwise known as the uh, arrowhead plant because of these well that's not a particularly mature one but you've got this sort of uh, arrowhead let me see if I can get my face out of the way sort of focus in on it there we go got this whole arrowhead uh, look to the leaves really beautiful but here's the thing they're very difficult to find and when you do find them, they're very expensive. Now, apparently they are getting a little easier. They were even more expensive and even more elusive. Uh, but I thought to myself, I may never see them in this area again. And who knows uh, when they'll be available, especially with the UK coming out of Europe. That makes things even more complicated with supply and things like that. So I kind of had a moment of weakness and I bought them. So in this video, I want to do a care guide uh, for these, how to look after them, because I've been learning all about them. Uh, this is the first um, variegated uh, marbled um, house plant that I'm going to own. So I've been looking up about that. And there are a few specific sort of uh, um, things that people quite often uh, misunderstand about these plants. So I thought we'll go over that. We'll talk about how to care for them. And if you're interested, if you've just bought one, uh, or if you're interested in buying one, then I'll sort of go over the best way to look after them. But the good news is actually, these Syngonium are actually quite easy to look after. They're quite tolerant. And so if you're gonna be paying a few pounds for one, um, it's nice to know that they're, they're relatively easy to look after because you don't wanna spend uh, the best part of 50 pounds or I don't know what that is, 70, 80 dollars, and then have them die after a week because that's gonna be quite painful. I know they're not huge amounts of money in the grand scheme of things compared to other rare house plants go into the many hundreds, if not thousands, but um, we're, not, uh, we're not sort of on that level with these plants. But uh, yeah, in terms of uh, care, an average amount of water uh, will be fine. The usual water it well, then allow it to, uh, to properly uh, dry through until the first inch or so is starting to dry out and then you water it again but they are relatively tolerant i wouldn't advise it but if you did leave it a bit longer than you should and it was starting to really fully dry out then you know they will sort of wilt a little bit and then come back after after you water them apparently which is great i would say they're tolerant of low lower light levels which is true but because this is variegated which means we've got a lot of leaves uh, with less green on them the green is where the chlorophyll is and that is what makes the energy for the plant so although these leaves are very pretty uh, here with the uh, sort of albinism or the albino looking um, uh, side of them they do look amazing but they're not very good from a plant's point of view they can't make energy so you get a few I th i'm not sure there isn't one on on here but sometimes you can get completely white leaves which look stunning uh, but um, are not very healthy for the plant and uh, and they need the green to be able to make energy to support life in the plant so it is almost like a defect if you like uh, and the plant growers will uh, will see one which has this and then they will keep growing and keep developing it to create the plants 
with this on it but it is kind of like a defect even though it's a very pretty one so bear that in mind uh, you will need um, plenty of light for this but not the sort of harsh south-facing direct light because uh, for the same reason these are going to burn quite readily they're quite thin leaves on these syngoniums so they will they will burn but it, uh, but a bright position maybe back from a south facing window that doesn't get the, the scorching light coming in this time in the winter less likely to get the scorching uh, hot sun through your windows anyway but just bear that in mind if the sun does sweep past this and spend any time on the leaves you might get some burning but otherwise plenty of light normal amount of water and this should be absolutely fine which I'm pleased to hear about personally uh, because yeah I spent a few quid because not only did I buy this I also bought that one <laughs> so I bought two of them which in the UK is the best part of a hundred pounds I'm sure you're thinking Andy why would you spend best part of a hundred pounds when you <laughs> said to yourself you wouldn't get into this whole thing well these are actually when I uh, as an excuse probably realistically for buying these I thought it would make an interesting project for something I've got coming up on the channel but I'm not going to mention in this one because this is more of a, a care guide video for uh, for this particular plant and um, so if you subscribe to the channel then you'll be notified put that bell notification on you'll be notified when uh, I do another video about uh, these plants and what we what I've got in mind for them because I think you'll find it quite interesting uh, what I've got in mind but we're not talking about that in this one so do subscribe if you're not already for that video coming up but in terms of care we've gone over the light requirements a bright indirect light average amount of water water it well then allow it some time to to dry out nearly uh, and then water it again that's the best way to water most plants and this one is uh, no different humidity an average amount of humidity if you can keep it in a more humid environment around other house plants helps raise the humidity a little bit uh, if it's in the winter where you are and it's cold and you've got central heating on they don't really like the the drying atmosphere that the heating makes so try and keep it away from any heat sources like radiators and things like that and uh, any way of boosting the humidity around your environment maybe with a humidity tray or if you have uh, some sort of um, uh, humidifier uh, that you use for your houseplants that's great as well but otherwise fairly tolerant I know some of the other variegated houseplants are a little bit more tricky to look after but the good news is if you do want to get uh, this type of plant then uh, this is going to be one of the easier ones to look after which is uh, for me I'm really pleased about that other things this is uh, the syngonium is a vining plant so uh, if you allow it it will trail if you want it to trail it will sort of grow over the pot and you could put it into a, a nice hanging basket something like that and so it will trail nicely uh, in that form or if you give it something to grow up it will sort of it will climb as well if you want it to but generally because of the variegation a lot of people keep it in like a, a close um, format where it bunches uh, nicely mainly to try and keep on top of these leaves because uh, the thing you might not know if you're new to these type of plants is because this is a unnatural uh, type of situation for these plants they will quite often try and often do revert back to green leaves as you can see here that one is a completely is it completely yeah that's a completely green leaf and if you if you leave it to its own devices there is a good chance that all of these leaves will eventually as new leaves grow there'll be more and more green ones and slowly the variegation will grow out or, or revert is the uh, the name for it and that happens uh, that is just something uh, uh, that happens with these plants um, and it's normal because it needs the green leaves to survive so you're always going to need some you're never going to get one with 100% leaves like this and if you do it won't be a healthy plant because there won't be enough um, energy being produced in the leaves to support itself but we can do things about that which means if there are more green leaves growing than of the nice variegated ones you can chop the the green leaves back uh, down to the last variegated leaf so if there's if there's two uh, green leaves 
and then uh, uh, the third one further down is variegated if you chop it down to that variegated leaf then hopefully it should then push out the next leaf should be another variegated one so you could control it so by doing that you keep a, a nice tight habit of a plant generally and that's generally how they uh, how they survive uh, and how they're grown in in these sort of uh, pots because the owners want to keep the nice variegation so that's all you need to do really keep an eye on it if you forget about it for too long then just be aware the money that you're paying for the variegation may disappear so i personally i think that adds a little bit more interest uh, to the hobby and that's what kind of got me uh, got me interested in taking this is it's another it's another skill level if you like it gives me some more interest to spend some time with these plants look at them see what's happening with them and to see each leaf is it going to be variegated if it is how much of it is it going to be marbled like this is it going to have the whole uh, the whole leaf white or and how bright is it because you'll get anything from a very bright white all the way through to a, a creamy colored uh, a leaf so there's a lot more to look into and a lot more to pay attention to with these plants and that's really the interesting thing for me so it's a learning experience for me it's the first uh, one uh, uh, that i'm going to enjoy and grow am i gonna am i gonna grow more i don't know we'll have to see how this goes uh, the other types the monstera uh, albo for example and the few varieties of that are very sought after and because of that because of the rarity and how popular they are the prices are crazy just for one just for a single leaf cutting you're quite often paying hundreds of pounds now uh, they used to be cheaper and i remember seeing them a few years ago thinking wow 60 pounds for uh, for a small uh, you know fully developed plant of a monstera was crazy but now they've gone even further and even further than that so yeah i don't know if i'm going to jump on that bandwagon but i'm enjoying this so far and i will keep you posted about how these get on i'm going to find it's still in its nursery pot so i'm going to find um, a, a nicer pot for them and i'll obviously uh, keep you posted about what i've got planned for these ones which should be a bit of fun but that's it for this one thanks very much for watching uh, i hope you found it useful please give it a thumbs up if you have and i'll catch you very soon on another video bye for now